Accurately diagnosing Alzheimer's disease can be a challenge. MRI procedures, a PET scan, or spinal tap are used to diagnose. For patients and families, the testing is an added expense and burden, possibly very difficult for the patient, so it may never get done. Without testing, doctors can't be sure as other forms of dementia masquerade as Alzheimer's. The misdiagnosis rate, it's a high number. And if you ask a doctor, they'll say, yeah, I'm pretty confident it's Alzheimer's. They'll, they'll be wrong 30 to 40% of the time. Joel Bronstein is the CEO of C2N Diagnostics in St. Louis. The company has accomplished something new, an Alzheimer's blood test that's now on the market. We were really the first group to introduce a blood test to the market to aid in the clinical diagnosis of Alzheimer's disease. We've been working with a number of physicians in rural communities who say we are hundreds of miles away from the nearest pet scanning facility, or we really don't engage in frequent cerebral spinal fluid sampling. The availability of a blood test that the patient can take conveniently without having to travel a long distance is very appealing. The blood samples are processed at C2N's lab. Dr. Randall Bateman, professor of neurology at Washington University School of Medicine in St. Louis, is a scientific co-founder. It's going to represent a different kind of way that we do clinical research, the way we recruit patients for trials, as well as uh, patient care in terms of how we diagnose people who have memory problems. The blood test, called Precivity AD, is a result of Dr. Bateman's research with Dr. David Holtzman at WashU. The test that we provide, the Precivity AD test, is intended for people who are presenting with these early cognitive abnormalities for use in individuals over the age of 60. The blood test measures levels of amyloid beta protein. The proteins clump together to form amyloid plaques in the brain, the first sign of Alzheimer's disease. The real breakthrough was being able to measure two analytes in particular, amyloid beta-42 peptide and amyloid beta peptide-40. In blood, just like in cerebrospinal fluid, this amyloid beta-42 to 40 ratio uh, is altered in the blood, used to highly specifically identify who has amyloid plaques. Amyloid plaque pathology is really the earliest indicator that something might be happening abnormal in the brain. When patients begin experiencing symptoms, early and accurate diagnosis can get patients on the fast track to therapies and clinical trials that can help them before the disease progresses. Useful for clinical trials um, as well as patient care. New this year, an FDA-approved drug targeting the amyloid beta protein to reduce plaques in the brain. Aducanumab, which is a Biogen's drug, so that's an amyloid-modifying drug. Bronstein says any doctor who can prescribe medication for Alzheimer's and dementia can order the blood test. He says the orders are from both doctors who specialize in memory care and primary doctors, even if it's only to rule out Alzheimer's with greater confidence. A negative result, a result that comes back highly suggestive that Alzheimer's disease is not present, would should compel a physician to say there, we're now going to look for other causes of the cognitive impairment. And the reason why that's important is because there are some forms of dementia that can be readily treated. And so being able to rule out Alzheimer's disease with a high degree of confidence um, could potentially be very important for that patient. One, it could potentially be a relief to the patient knowing that they don't have Alzheimer's, but then it should also compel the physician to say, now we're gonna look for another cause to potentially explain your symptoms.